there's like sand sand and tears mixed trailing down what's up guys and today i'm going to be telling you the story of the worst camp experience i've ever had in my life provided by my school of course so this happened around sixth grade and sixth grade was a time when i was like not doing very good because you know a lot of changes happened with middle school and there's a lot of people I met that I didn't like. There's a lot of like scary situations that I wasn't well equipped for because I was still like coming off of elementary school. So there's definitely that factor in. So now this trip was a winter trip and I was really excited for it initially before we went, you know. And there's this one place I'm gonna call it um Sunset Adventures for the story. But basically, Sunset Adventures, I've never been there before. It's up by, like, kind of up north, I guess, Michigan. Yeah. So I've never been there before prior to this story. So when we get there, everything's cool, everything's fine, until I walk in the cabins. Now, immediately the cabins smelled really bad. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but it was just, like, a really bad smell. Like, somebody, like, had food out for too long, and it just, you. And it was also, like, kind of musty, and there was, like, dust everywhere. And... So that was already not a very good thing. And another thing was that the beds, like there were bunk beds, you know, because it's like a cabin. There's a bunch of bunk beds so that multiple people can sleep in multiple areas. Ow, that was my finger and that just hurt. Okay. But yeah, there were bunk beds. And now I'm a very restless sleeper as like probably multiple stories I could make on my weird sleep issues and that kind of thing. But basically, the top bunks had like about this much space as like the railing. Like this much space like you're gonna have kids restless kids who jump around and roll over and all that stuff and you're gonna place them in a teeny tiny bed with this much space of a railing that I could just roll over and like fall to the ground and potentially break my head open like what are you thinking that was the first part that I was like I don't like this and it was actually funny because how we got into our cabins was we had some other activities before we could technically go in there but basically like with our lock like the door wouldn't open for like hardly for some reason like so we'd have to have somebody to come around and like open our door for us because like we couldn't get it unlocked and stuff which was really frustrating so there was like the whole cabin was just not nice you know so there's that part and then there's also the factor in of how it was winter which is why i'm kind of posting this at this moment and like making this story time it's because it was winter time and it was not any winter time no because when i was in sixth grade that was one of the worst winters ever and it snowed and it snowed and it snowed and it did not stop snowing and there's snow everywhere and like whiteness all around. So it was super super cold and there's snow everywhere and I ended up like we played like some sort of frisbee game and I ended up getting like like really damp all over like my legs and like even though I was wearing snow pants and that kind of thing and you know we were walking around you had to waddle everywhere and like because I was like all wrapped up I would be sweating inside my coat even though it was super cold and like my ears would be cold so like that wasn't good so already we have the cabin we have the bitter coldness but then there was like lunch time I'm in there I'm already somewhat frustrated from these two things so I'm like taking my coat off and at this time I had like what I think it was either a white coat or it was like one that was white and had like light blue on there. It was one of those two coats I had. Basically it was had like colors on there. So I took my coat off and I was going to like, cause for my lunch my parents packed like sparkling water and that kind of thing. So I'm getting ready to open that and it just explodes. It just explodes and I'm like oh great that's not good. So then you thought that was like one of the worst things in the lunchroom but no. After that, I went to go get a little cup of, like, coffee, and now I'm the one who, like, likes more sweeter coffee, so it basically was just, like, sugar and cream and a teeny bit of coffee, but that's not relevant to the story, so I went and got a little cup of coffee and those, like, foam stuff, and I, like, sitting there, and I put it on my table. Now, you know me, if you know me, I'm a very clumsy person, so as I'm, like, getting up to leave, you know, or whatever, I knock the coffee off, and it spills all over my coat second spill second time in like what 20 minutes i was so angry i'm like this is, this is just not working out apparently but that wasn't all because we had this one part where we were could like get in a bus and we could go drive through the dunes and now i thought this was like really cool you know and i wanted to go and see me i like listening to music and at this point since it was like early 2000s i had this little mp3 player that was like pink and it just had the single buttons to skip music and that kind of stuff and like a USB port to upload and like take off and that kind of thing. And I've had that I had that thing since I was like six and I loved that thing. 
but as we were going there, I like put my earbuds in my ear and I had that in my pocket and I was like listening to music. I remember on the bus, I was with my friend, Bella, I'm going to call her Bella for the story. And so like she put her my earbuds in and we were like talking about my music and that kind of thing. So basically I really loved that thing. I was attached to that thing because of like how long I've had it and like all the music on it. So we get to the dunes and like we walk up like five million flights of stairs in the cold because it was like evening for some reason they were like the yeah, Alice's in the evening with children who will probably get cold because nobody likes wearing actual coats because they're kids and they want to look cool so anywho we're up there and there's this like top kind of point that I really wanted to like go see because like everyone else like ran up the dunes to like go see it so I was like okay I'll try the that too so me, my scrawny little 11 year old self was like, oh hey, I can do this. So I'm like doing this, literally like clawing up the dunes and like more sand and snow, like just a mix of sand and snow, like, oh my gosh, like basically it was like pouring down my face and like getting in my mouth and like in my hair and like I had to like shut my eyes and I was like, so I'm like basically doing this and it was not working, you know, and I like fell and I was like, and then at that point they're like, oh hey, we have to leave. So. Because, you know, it took so long for me to get over there. And, like, everyone else was up there, like, oh, it's cool. And meanwhile, I'm over here, like, literally eating dirt. Yeah. So, they like, say we're about to leave. So, I'm, like, going with them, blah, blah, blah. And I'm walking. And in the middle of this, I'm thinking, oh, hey, I should listen to music. So, I reach in my pocket. And there's nothing there. There's nothing there. At this point, I'm, like, freaking out and stuff. And so, I go up to the teacher. I'm, like, oh, hey, like, I lost, like, my MP3 player. And I, like, really like it. So, like can we like go back and get it? So they're like, okay, sure. So everybody else gets wrangled into the bus. Meanwhile, I'm sitting there with the teacher and we're like clawing again, once again, through the sand, looking everywhere, looking everywhere, looking everywhere. And again, my earbuds that I was had were like really, really good ones and I've never had earbuds that were as good as those again, like lasted as long and next kind of thing, which was also lost because my pocket didn't have a zipper and I didn't feel like not taking it with me and you know, because I want to listen to music. So we're like, we were searching, and it started getting dark, and it started getting dark, and we kept searching until finally the teacher just looked at me. She's like, Maddie, I don't think there's anything here. I'm sorry, I can't find it. If anybody else comes here and finds it, I'll tell you, but till then, like, there's something we can do. So we get ready to leave, and we're like walking. I'm like walking down the bus, going into the bus, and it's like dark out, and I'm the one who held up everybody because my stupid MP3 player got lost. So that was really, really bad. And another like kind of funny bad thing kind of that happened was we had this like thing where we had to, um, we could like slide down hills, you know, and they had like, I'm not explaining this well. And we were in like inner tubes. Yeah. So that was fun. But then we had snowshoes and I was terrible at walking snowshoes and I fell. And then we had to get on like the little wagon area to go on the way back and I was sitting by this one kid and like... At the time, I had a crush on this one guy, we're going to call him Bradley, you know? I had a crush on Bradley, but there were like two Bradleys in my class too. But instead, I had to sit next to the other Bradley, and I was sitting there, and I was like, oh my gosh, I don't like you, I like the other one, why can't I sit by the other one? I have to sit by you. So that one was kind of like added to like the terribleness of the entire trip. Yeah. Oh, and I also forgot to mention is when we got back with, with my group and stuff, I was like crying. I was legitimately crying because I lost my MP3 player and it was so bad. So as I'm crying, my friend, like we went in to go to eat dinner or whatever and my friend's like, okay Maddie, let's go to the bathroom, let's clean you up. So we're in the bathroom. There's like sand, sand and tears mixed, trailing down and gets up this like, you know, and she's like wiping my tears away. She's like, Maddie, take control of yourself. Calm down. Don't cry. It's not that big a deal. Blah, blah, blah. I was just like okay but like okay so basically that experience was really bad it was one of the worst camp experience i've ever had i do not want to go back there again i still really just like like thinking about it in my mind because it was so bad mainly because of that one thing also it was funny because the other group that went after us it was super that was like after all the snow had melted and it was super really really warm and so they like they could do so much more because it wasn't, wasn't even as cold and I was like so jealous because I wanted to do that so much. Like this video, like, subscribe, check me out. I appreciate it and thanks for watching and bye. Then we had this one part, part, I can't speak.